Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing some crock pot meals. And they're really super delicious. Well, I think they are. I hope you do too. But here they are. I decided to start putting the recipe before each recipe. Well, that was weird. Uh, so y'all can screenshot. All right, this Marry Me Alfredo chicken, I decided to put two recipes together into one. I like to make things my own, kind of, just, you know. And also, I'm using so much chicken because this is going to be leftovers and it's going to be lunch the next day, so. But anyways, at this point, you're going to want to put some onion powder, but me, I'm using that uh, minced onion that I got in the bottle. And you're going to want to add your Parmesan, your butter, half a stick of butter, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, Italian seasoning, as much as you want. I just probably did maybe a teaspoon, I would say. Something like that, right about the teaspoon. Some paprika, paprika, I cannot talk, paprika. <laughs> garlic powder, of course. It always needs the garlic powder. And you're going to do a little shake of salt and pepper to taste. It's all about preference. And yeah, that works when you like do that with a salt shaker to the pepper. It comes out so much faster. Try it. Yes, we did use garlic powder, but we're also going to use minced garlic because garlic is bomb.com. And that's probably two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons. I, I'm not really sure. But now we're going to put in the half a cup of bacon pieces you can use fresh bacon here if you want but i just always have this on hand and i'm just doing a dollop of sun-dried tomatoes i don't like a lot of course it's preference put a lot if you like a lot and now i'm going to put two cups of chicken broth in here but y'all know me this is just water and chicken bouillon powder you can totally use real chicken broth if you prefer and just mix her up a bit and cook her on low for eight hours or high for four to five hours until the chicken's done, of course. We have about 30 minutes left. So, at this point, I'm taking, like, I have a cup of parm. The shredded kind that can melt. <laughs> and I'm going to serve this over noodles. And we're going to have some pasta. This is a mix between Mary Me Chicken and Alfredo. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on and let her finish. Okay, this is done. I'm gonna serve it over some pasta. Some folks serve this over rice or mashed potatoes, but I think it's good on pasta myself. That smells very, very good. It's so, so good. <laughs> Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> She's bomb.com, just so everybody knows. Screenshot now if you want the recipe easier. I thought this would be easier for y'all. Anyways, I got this big gigantic bag of party size meatballs because this video has two meatball recipes on it. So I just use half of that bag. And I'm going to use two bottles of chili sauce. Pour both of them in there. And then I'm going to fill both bottles with water. Shake it up and pour that water in there as well. Add about a half a cup of brown sugar, not packed. Cook this on high for three hours or cook it on low for six hours. Here is the done meatballs. Now look how delicious. These are honestly my favorite meatballs with the sweet chili sauce. They just hit different. 
These are fantastic with mashed potatoes, green beans on the side, but we like to make little sliders out of them with mozzarella cheese. To have less dirty dishes, I like to mix this in the crock pot. It's just easier on me, you know. But anyways, you're going to put the chicken with herbs, cream of chicken with herbs, in the crock pot and equal amounts of milk. And you are just going to stir that right on up with a whisk. Add your chicken breast, as much chicken breast as you want. But I put in probably a pound, pound and a half of chicken breast. Now add you some adobo, seasoned salt, and pepper. Did you know that you can get smoked spiral ham pieces at Wally World for around $4 a pound in a baggie? I like this 10 times better than I do that cubed ham. A lot of people say they use the cubed ham or the deli ham in this, but I like the spiral ham. It's just as cheap. I paid, I think, $4.50 for that whole packet of spiral ham, and it's real ham. I don't like the processed chunks of ham, you know. I mean, I can eat it, but I prefer this if I can find it, you know. I'm just saying. And now after you put in your ham, top the ham with a whole pack of Swiss cheese. If you can find shredded, I would say get shredded. But they didn't have any shredded at my store, so I'm just using a whole pack of sliced Swiss cheese. On top of that Swiss cheese, sprinkle the dry, savory stuffing mix on top. And then you're going to melt a half a stick of butter and pour that on top of that stuffing mix. Cook her on high for four hours or low for eight hours. She's done. I just gotta say, this was pretty dang awesome. Um, If you guys try this, I really hope you enjoy it, because we sure did. This is the one I showed y'all in the Facebook group, and Brayden was growling when he was eating it. And Dusty was like, Brayden, why are you growling? <laughs> Give her a go. That's really good. It's really good. This one, there was absolutely no leftovers because Ryder loved it and he loves some sweet and sour anything. All right, so you're going to pour your whole can of pineapples with the juice into the crock pot. And I would say about a cup and a half of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now, I've used other barbecue sauce for this before and it's not as good as the original Sweet Baby Ray's. I want to use a half a cup of unpacked brown sugar, mix that all up. And you remember the other half of those frozen meatballs that I had? I'm just going to dump those in as well, mix them up and let them cook for three hours on high or low for six hours. And I serve this up on a bed of rice. And that was it. I hope you guys like those if you try them because we thought they were bomb.com. The last one was a mix of Marry Me Chicken and Alfredo, homemade Alfredo. I wanted, I like to do my own spin on things because 
You'll notice I only put a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes in there. Because I don't like a lot. I just like the flavor. I don't like to bite into a sun-dried tomato. It's just me. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay positive, stay calm, be happy. Let others be happy, please. And I will see you in the next video.